Good morning. Uh, today we will continue to the last chapter, okay? last chapter of data structures, uh, which is graph. So during the tutorial and lab sessions, uh, we will continue with graph and searching. Okay? Graph and searching. Uh, so before we start, uh, for those register under DK1, uh, please log into your Siswamil. So you click the link and then sign the attendance. Okay, click the link and sign the attendance. Huh? If you didn't receive any link, means you are not group four, uh, sorry, group one to four. So only the student register from group one to four will receive the link. Okay. Because I grab from the, the registration system. So if you are not registered under group one to four, you then you won't receive the link. Yeah, nah? yeah, because this is for DK1 group. So uh next week, eh? Next week is uh yeah, let me click the announcement. Hey, 
Yeah, Jew. <coughs> yeah. So this week we will settle everything. So next week is uh revision. Yeah, revisions. Because uh you don't have any revision week this time. And then your uh, final will be scheduled on 30 of June. So I give you one week for revision. Huh? Yeah. Next week, no lectures. Uh, so your final reminder is 30 June, huh? 30 June. Huh? But for network technology is different. Network technology is July. Uh, so next week also we continue lecture. Okay. Since we cover all the topics already. And then uh, the assignment, YWA. Yeah. Some of the group will be having assignment YWA next week. But some lecturer request to do it this week. Okay. Depends, uh, but my group will follow the schedule. Okay. Group 1 will continue your YWA assignment next week. Okay, uh, I will inform you all the submission during this uh, Wednesday okay, for group one, huh? Group one. Okay. So I think that's all uh, for the announcement. Okay, then we start. Okay, let's continue. So uh, we will continue with uh, chapter ten. So chapter ten is another type of data structure. Okay, so the name of the data structure is, uh, we name it as a graph. Okay, graph, uh, okay, let us look at the definition of graph. Okay, so the graph basically cons consists of a set of nodes. Okay, means you have multiple nodes. And then a set of edges. So these edges is actually used to link the node to each other. Yeah, example, uh, let's say we com uh, we use an example of network. Yeah, so from source to destinations. Uh, so source and destination is basically the nodes. So in order to connect these two nodes, we need a H. Or this H will connect, let's say A to B. Uh, so the graph basically can define using a formula. Uh, so G equal to V comma E. So G stand for, sorry, G stand for the graph. Uh, v is the vertex. Uh, e is the edge. Okay. So V is used to represent the node. Okay. Uh, example, let's say we look at this, uh, this diagram. Okay. Let's say in the tutorial. Uh, okay. Let's say we look at this diagram. Uh, so A is basically the node. Uh, A, B, C, all this is the node. So when A connect to B, uh, this is the H. Okay? A connect to C, this is the H. Okay? So B and E. La. So if two vertices uh, in a graph are connected by an H, they are said to be adjacent. Uh, so we'll go back to the example. So A and B is adjacent. That means neighbor. Okay? Uh, the neighbor of A is B and C. Uh, so the neighbors of uh, B is A, C, E, D. Okay? So the adjacent nodes. So the neighbors of uh, C is A, B, and F. Okay? So this is the definition. Okay? Two vertices in the graph connected by an edge. So they are said to be adjacent. And then the next definition, path. Okay, what is a path? A path is a sequence of vertices that connect two nodes in the graph. Yeah, means, example, go back to just another example. Let's say I want to find the path A to D. So A to D is, I, A is the source, D is the destination. So the vertices you need to go through is A, B, D. Or, uh, no more, one direction, is it the arrow? Huh? There is a direction one, A, B, D only. You cannot go to C, then go to B, because the direction from B to C is this side, okay? so only one direction. Okay, but if we want to go from A to F, uh, okay? from A to F, there are two paths. The first path is A, B, C, F. Uh, this is one path. The second path is A, C, F. Uh, so go back to the definition. The path is the sequence of vertices that connect two nodes in the graph. Depends uh, how far is your vertices. Okay. Uh, so these are some of the definitions. Uh, graph, vertex, edge, 
adjacent and path. Okay, uh, this is better the definition first. Okay. okay, the next one is uh basically we can draw two different types of graph. The first type of graph is called directed, and the second graph is we call undirected. So what is the difference in between these two graphs? Yeah, we just look at the vertex. Sorry, we just look at the edge. So if there is a direction in the edge, means it's a directed graph. Okay, example, we look at this. Yeah, so there's an arrow yeah, from two to one, then from three to two. Uh, means there's an arrow. Okay, arrow. Uh, so this is called directed. Yeah, example, the second graph, okay, there's no arrow okay, in between A to B or B to A. So you're not sure whether A go to B or B go to A. Uh, both sides also can. Okay. Uh, this is not directed. Okay. So one is directed and one is undirected. Okay, nah? okay, nah. okay, so once we have the graph, basically we can use the set. Yeah? As you can see, just like the definition, a set of nodes and a set of edges. Uh, so we can represent graph using a set of nodes yeah, we use the V, yeah, V to represent the set, and then we use the E to represent the set for the edges. Uh, so for the vertex, is simple. We just uh, note down all the numbers. Yeah, start from the lowest number, uh, yeah, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Yeah, uh, so this is the uh, vertex. For the edges, okay, edges. Uh, since this is a directed graph, so we need to uh, get the vertex according to the directions. Okay? Uh, example for the first edges is one to three, okay? from one to three. Uh, then you cannot from one to eleven, uh, because you can see the direction. Yeah, these edges is point from eleven to one, so it's only one direction. So one to three. So we take down one to three. So the second edges is three to one. Okay, so we follow the numbers are uh, from small to largest. After that, five to seven. Uh, five to seven. Five to nine. Nine to eleven. Nine. Come back to nine. Uh, so nine to eleven. Nine to nine. You have two. Okay, one is nine to eleven. One is nine. Go back to one. And then finally, eleven to one. Yeah, uh, this is directed graph. Okay, there is a direction from one node to another node. Okay, this is the concept. Okay, next. Okay, next is a complete graph. Okay? A complete graph means each node will connect to each other. So if you have a n vertices, okay? if you have a n vertices, so for a directed graph. You have n multiplied n minus one edges. Uh, how to calculate? Very simple. Okay, let's say we take three nodes. Uh, we just take three nodes. Uh, two nodes. Uh, we start with two nodes first. Okay. Let's say A and E. Okay. A and E. Uh. So A and E consists of two vertices. So for a directed graph, so n will be represented by two. Uh, so two multiplied two minus one means two edges. So one is from A to E, another one is from E to A. Okay, uh, simple. Uh. So if you have two vertices for a directed graph, you have two edges. Okay, how about undirected graph? Okay, undirected graph means from A to E uh, is only one edge. Okay, because we don't care about the directions. Uh, so we use the formula. So if the vertices is two, two multiplied one. Equal to two, uh, then divide by two, one. Uh, so it's one edge only. Yeah? Uh, so the formula is simple, it means for any undirected graph, we just need to divide by two. Yeah? Uh, so another example, let's say we have three vertices. Uh, so let's say A, E, F, all connected. That means you need another two edges, which is from F to A, another one, 
Another one is F to E. So when you add up all the edges, you can get six. Okay, how to get six? Three multiplied two. Six edges. So the one is considered a complete lah. Yeah, uh, this example is not a complete graph. Uh. Why? Because there is no connection from F to A. There is only edges, H from A to F. Uh. There is no F to A. Uh, so it's not complete. Yeah, uh, so complete means both sides also must have direction. Unless it's an undirected graph. Okay, and then uh, for the H, Basically, each edge we can assign a value. Okay, assign a value. So if you assign the value to the edge, means uh, we name it the graph as a weighted graph. Okay, weighted graph. Okay, example. You see, uh, the value from A to E is zero point one. Uh, there's a value. Then the value from E to A is zero point five five. Okay, why we need this value? Uh, because sometimes this value can be used as a value for the bandwidth. Okay, example, these are all the PC connected or the routers connected. Uh, so from router A go to router E, uh, the bandwidth is 0 0.1. But from the E link go to A, the bandwidth is 0 0.55. That uh, means we can specify the values for each edge. Okay. Depends what application you want to apply. Uh. Uh, so if in network, usually it's the bandwidth. Yeah, yeah uh, the concept. Okay, next. So once you have the weighted graph, okay, once you have the weighted graph, basically this weighted graph we store in a two-dimensional array. That means we store the value. Okay, example, let's say I want to so, uh, store this value, 0 0.55. A to E. So A, let's say, is the first node. Okay? E is the fifth node. So when we come out the sorry, when we come out the dump uh, array, okay? so we can store edges, uh, first node to which node uh, this one? E. E is uh, fifth node. Zero point one. Okay? Then we can have another two dimension array. So from E to A, 0 0.55. Okay, that uh, means all this uh, weighted value, basically we can store it in a two dimensional array. Okay, the first one is the source, the source node, or the source vertex. The second one is the destination vertex. Or vertex. Yeah. Right? So what is the advantage? Okay, another example, you see, uh, this one. So if uh, we have a vertex 2 connected to vertex 4, so the, the, the two dimension array is 1 to 3. Uh, yeah. uh, why 1 to 3? Because the array starts from 0. Okay. Array starts from 0. Yeah. So what is the advantage of using the Two dimension array speed lah means we can access the, the the value faster, right? But you need a lot of space lah. You need a lot of space. Why? Because you if let's say you have a uh, uh, twenty vertex, right? Twenty. So you need to have twenty multiplied twenty. Twenty multiplied twenty space. Okay, because we are using array, we need to fix, fix the size. Okay, so the drawback is the use of space, uh, use of memory. Okay, but if you want to access the value, it's faster. Okay. So example, uh, example. Uh, so you have uh, the number of vertices, 7, so 0 to 6. Yeah, 0 to 6. Then the value, okay, you store in the, from 0 to from 0 to 0 is always 0. Uh, uh. So if the value is 0 means there is no connection. Uh, means there is no connection from 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 0 to 3, and 0 to 4. 
Uh, but there is one connection from 0 to 5 and 0 to 6. So 0 to 5, the, the value is 800. 0 to 6, the value is 600. Yeah. Uh, so if the value is 0, it's either point back to itself or there is no connection to another node or another vertex. So all this value we will store in the double array. Okay, so but if you want to minimize, let's say uh, you don't have enough space, okay? if you don't have enough space, basically we can store it using linked list. Okay? Uh, just like we go back to this example, because there is no value from 0 to 0, 0 to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, so actually all this we can take up. Yeah, means that uh, from the zero locations, we just create a link list. The link list just point to five and six. Two nodes only. So you space, you, you save the space. Yeah, you save the space. Okay, but the drawback is it's very difficult to search. Uh, so that's why it depends on your requirements. If you have plenty of space, we recommend you use array. But if you don't have enough space, so you can use a uh, link list. Okay. Link list. Okay. But the searching will be longer. Yeah, the searching will be longer. Yeah, no? Okay, the next one is uh, we also can create the adjacency list, means the neighbor list. Uh, so this neighbor list will identify the vertices to which vertex is connected. Uh, means the neighbor. Okay, example, uh, just uh, I go back to the example. Example, I want to know the neighbors of A. Uh, so in the link list, we can have A to B, A to C. Uh, means A uh, consists of two neighbors. One is B and one is C. Uh, then we go to vertex boy, okay, with this B, okay, with this B. Since this is a directed graph, so B cannot go back to A. So when we use the, edge, when we create the adjacent list, so B only appear B and D and B and E. So B cannot go back to A, unless there's a direction here. Okay, there's an arrow here. Okay. So B consists of three, uh, three neighbors, B to C, B to D, and B to E. Uh, so the neighbor list, basically we can create using a adjacency list. But if the graph is not directed, means if no directions, okay, we go back to this example, uh, if the graph, uh, there is no directions. Uh, so the adjacent list for B will be different. Yeah, all the neighbor, A, C, D, E. Uh, so it depends whether you are using a directed graph or undirected graph. Okay, uh, these are some of the uh, concept of uh, graph. Okay, uh, so you can see using link list to store the value. Okay, uh, so reduce the space but increase the searching time, okay? Because we don't know where is the the value, okay? We know to we need to go to the link list, then from the link list we need to go one by one, okay? Compare to double survey, uh, we already know, okay? From node zero to node five, uh, so we just look at the index zero and five, then we get the value. Link list is difficult because we don't know where is 0 to 5. Okay? So we need to go through all the nodes one by one. You save the space, but you increase the time. Okay? So it depends on your requirement. Okay. So once we know the concept of graph, okay, let us look at some of the example code. Okay, example code. So in the graph node, okay, graph node, so we use these two values to represent the vertices and uh, H, yeah, V and E, uh, yeah, we can use V and E. And then uh, 
each graph will consist of vertex uh, V, uh, V, yeah, and the uh, H, yeah, V and H, uh, and then this graph will point to another graph node, uh, just like link this, uh, from list node, they will point to another list node. Yeah. So these are the three important uh, attributes. Yeah. So the graph node consists of one V and one E. And then there is a graph node that point to the next uh, vertex. Yeah. So beside this tree, okay, I put another variable here, which is the mark. Uh, I set as boolean. So this mark is actually to identify whether this graph node is being visited. Okay. So if the graph node is being visited, the mark I set to true. That means you visit the node. So, but if the node is not visited, the mark is false. Just, just a marker. Huh? Okay, just a marker to identify whether you have visit the nodes or not. Okay? Ah, so that's why when you create the graph node using the empty constructor, ah, everything is now and the marker is false. Okay? But if you put in a constructor, okay, V and a graph node, so you can see uh, A and B is uh, according to the constructor. Okay? The H link and mark is false. Okay. Uh, then the last is the same. Uh, set with this, set marker, set with this link, uh, set edges link, and then others get, 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 and so on. Then the to string method will return a list of uh, vertices. Okay. Just like link this, uh, a list of vertices. So if A is connected to B and A is connected to C, does it mean that there's a two graph node? Yeah, you have not two graph node, you have three graph node. Three, uh, not two, uh, because you have A, B, and C. Okay, it's not two graph node, uh, it's three graph node. A, B, C. Yeah, because each, each graph node only consists of one vertex. Yeah, clear? Okay, now we go to the... Is the H link same as the vertex of the link? Uh, no. The H link, if consists of value, then is the vertex. If the H link no uh, no value means uh it's not a vertex. Uh, depends whether the H link consists of value or not. Okay? If the H link consists of value, uh, then it's a vertex. Yeah. Uh, so uh the difference in between graph and other data structure is so beside the vertices we have the edges. Okay. So we look at the edges. Uh. So when we create the edges, okay, before we create the edges, we also need to implement the graph. Uh. Uh, this is the graph implementation. Uh, later we will go to here. Uh. Okay. Graph implementation. Okay. Before that, we look at the edges. Okay. So for the edges, okay, for the edges, you can see in the edges, you have the vertex range and the edge link. Uh, depends whether you want to create a normal graph or weighted graph. So if you want to create a weighted graph, uh, so there's a weight here. Okay. Uh, so you have the vertex link, then you have the edge link. Okay. So E is the value. Okay. The value. Uh, so everything, uh, so when we create the edge, uh, okay, when we create the edge, we need to put in uh, three arguments. So the first argument is referred to the vertices. 
The second argument is referred to the H value. So if a normal graph, this value will be zero. Okay. The next one refer to the H, another H. Okay, the name of the H are uh, then the rest is the same. Uh, set vertices, uh, sorry, set weight, set vertices lane, set H lane. Okay. Uh, so you can see the vertex lane okay, is the one point to the vertices are uh, dot get vertices. Okay, and then the weight. What this link and H link, what is the difference? Okay, what this link is to connect all the vertices. Example, uh, go back to this one. Uh, this one. What this link is this one. Let's say you have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Uh, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. All the vertices. Okay, but all these vertices will not connect to each other uh, because one graph node they consist of uh, vertices and edge. Okay, example, uh, one vertex node one only connected to three okay, because it's a direction. Uh, is it one to three? Uh, so the edges is from one to three, and then for vertex three, the edges is only from three to one. Okay, uh, so vertex range and edge range is different. Uh. Vertex range is referred to this one. Eh? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Edge uh. uh, range is referred to this one. 1 to 3, 3 to 1, 5 to 7, and so on. Yeah, uh, this one is a normal graph uh, without the uh, value. Okay? Without the value. Uh, so the E just now, everything set to, uh, back to this one. Yeah, the weight, uh, everything set to zero. Everything set to zero. Uh, so now we have the graph node. We have the edges. Okay, uh, the next one is we look at how we going to implement or create the graph. Okay, uh, so we go to graph. Okay, so again, uh, when we create the graph, so it's based on the vertices, uh, it's based on the vertices. So at first it's the same thing, we also have a header for the graph node. Okay, we need a header. And then uh, at first the constructor is header equal to now, uh, just like link this, uh, just like link this. So if the header is equal to now, means the graph is empty. Uh. Okay, the graph is empty. And then this is to get the size. Okay? So the guess size is to return the numbers of vertices. Okay, the numbers of vertices. Okay, example, let's say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six node. Ah, so when you get size means I return one, two, three, four, five, six, six node. Okay, this one, ah. Ah, this guess size is to return the numbers of vertices, ah, not the numbers of edges, ah. Ah, the numbers of vertices. Okay, same. Ah. Okay, then clear means you set the header back to now. Ah. Okay, set the header back to now. Okay, so when we show graph, okay, when we show graph, what we want to print out? Okay, so at first we print out the vertex, the name of the vertex. Okay, so once you print out the name of the vertex, okay, this part is basically to print the edge. Okay, means let's say uh, I want to print, okay, the first time you print is A, okay, you print out A. After you print A, you must show that, okay, what is the edges for A? Uh, so actually, A to B. This is one vertex. A to C. Another one, uh, sorry, this. H, yeah? A to B, one H. A to C, another H. Uh, so that's why in the show graph, uh, show graph, the first statement is actually to print out the vertices. This part is to print out the edge. Yeah, this part is to print out the edge. So the edge can be more. Yeah, because we don't know how many edges is connected to this node. 
This is to show up. That's why I have a wow loop. Lah. So the wow loop keep on running until all the edges display, then finish. Go to the next one and so on. Yeah, so the show graph you have to, it's different from link list. Huh? In link list, you only show this one. Huh? So, but for graph, after you show the vertices, you need to show all the edges. Because we don't know how many edges. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the show graph, uh, you need extra extra part here. Yeah. So after you print out the edges, then only you go to the next one. Only you go to the next one. Okay. So the next one is basically to check uh, whether this uh vertices right yeah? whether you have a vertices or not in this uh graph yeah so if you have a uh, yeah if you have then you return uh, means uh, i want to find okay i want to find uh b b so they go to the graph and check uh, so they compare 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 oh okay uh this the first time is written A. So B compared to A. Hey, it's not. So go to the next one. Then the next one is B. Okay. B compared to B. A. Hey? Oh, equal, equal. Uh, written. Okay. So, so the hex vertex is actually go to find the vertex in the graph. Okay. Means uh, if I want to find B, the methods will return B. But if I want to find K, 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 uh, there is no K here. So the graph will return now. Eh? So it means if you cannot find anything, return now. Eh? If you can find, so they will return the node. Same thing, huh? it's just like a searching. Eh? You want to search for a node in the link list or in the tree. Okay, uh, this is to add. Okay? Example, let's say the first one we want to add is A. A, huh? Okay, we want to add the A. So when you add A, basically they will create a new graph node. Okay? Uh, graph node, new node equal to new graph node A. Okay, A is the value. Okay? So same thing, huh? If I check the header first, if the header is equal to now, then uh, you header equal to new node. Huh? However, if the header is not equal to now, then you go to the next link. Uh, this is as, just like what we did in the link list. Uh, add, add to the back. Uh, this is add to the back. Yeah, but I changed the name to add vertex uh, because now we are doing graph. Okay, so let me go back to the main method. Show you some example first. So this is one example. Uh. this part. Okay, uh, let's say I have a graph, okay? I have a graph. So uh, V and uh, V and E, uh, okay? V and E. So the graph will have five vertices and six edges. Okay, uh, so first I add the vertices first. Yeah, swing now, uh, using swing. So it means A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, so when this, this graph is, is executed, so I will create six uh, vertices. Uh, it's like five, A to F, uh, uh, five. So how to create? Yeah, okay, sorry, using this one. Uh, uh, just I link this. Uh, so now you have A, B, C, D, E, V. A, B, C, D, E, F is Six or oh, why five? Ah? Sorry, ah. Wait. yeah, less than F, ah. uh, not less than you. It's E only, ah. A, B, C, D, E. Uh, so you create, use a note back here. Yeah, A, B, uh, sorry. B, C, D, E. Uh, done, ah. Yeah. So the vertex done. 
Okay. The next one is uh, at edges. Okay, at edges. Okay, let us look at the code. Uh, at edges. Okay, so when you add edges, you need to put in the from node, okay, the from vertex and to vertex. But in order to add to the values to the from and to, uh, we need to check first whether the graph consists of these two nodes. Yeah, example, uh, let's say uh, I want to add a value, a value, uh, a weighted value to A and B, means A to B. Uh, so before I can add value 1 to A to B, I need to check first, is there any node name A and is there any node B? So that's why in the graph, you need to check first. So if the vertices is not available, so we cannot add return false. Okay, return false. Huh? Okay, but if you can find, let's say I want to add A and B, A and B, huh? so I go to find, huh? oh, typo, huh? where? Add edges. Which one is the typo? Error. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> Method name, huh? is it? Really? Why the... The name become like this. I remove it yeah. Wait, ah. Yo, my me matter everything all not wait, big, no D one. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, ah. Uh, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back to the glass. So funny. <laughs> okay, ah. Add back ah, the, the, or the, the meaning. Yeah, yeah. Because the original is at EGE, wrong. At H, la, meaningful, la, make it meaningful. Uh, yeah? All change. La. I put error, sorry. Yeah? So uh, if I want to add A to B, la, I must, again, la, go back to just now the code, I must check whether A and B is exit in the graph yeah? uh, before you can add. So that's why in the graph, so I need to check first. La. Okay, so now you check already. <coughs> a and B is in the graph. Okay, because just now I create five vertices A, B, C, D, E. So A and B is available. So we go to the else part. Uh, we go to the else part. Okay, so now I need to check the from. Whether the from node is equal to the current node or not. Uh, so the from is A, my just now. Uh, so I check. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, the first node is already matched. Eh? The first node already match. So when the first node already match, <coughs> the next thing is I check, I get the two. Yeah? I need to get the two graph node. Yeah, the graph node of two. Ah. So how I get the two? So I just use the hex vertex. Okay, that's how ah. this, this method. Ah. Ah, this method. So this hack method, uh, hack vertex will return the graph node of the two, okay, of the two, uh, of the two. Ah, so once I have the two, once I have the from, the next thing is I will create the edge node. So the edge node will include the two and the weight. Okay, just like I put value one, ma, one. Ah, so one and two here, lah. Okay, so once I have the thing, I will check my H node. So if at first the H node is empty, so if empty, I show away set. Okay, color node dot set H ring equal to new node. Means now you have the edges from A to B. Yeah, the first link there. Uh, so the code will continue. Uh. Let's say we go to the next one. Okay, next one. Yeah, no more. Only one A to B. Uh, take another example. Uh. Okay, second one, B and C. Okay, B and C, they do the same thing. 
do, 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 do. At first, B, there is no link. Okay, so B and C only. Uh. So the code will come to here. Uh. Okay, B and C. Uh. So they will play. Uh, next, uh, B to D. Okay, so B to D is, they do again the code. Okay, until here. Okay, they found that, oh, because just now you have a link from B to C. So the H node is not equal to now. So I must get the next link. Okay, it's not equal to now. So if not equal to now, H node equal to H node dot get next link. So when you dot get next link, okay, then only you set. Okay, now B can go to D. Okay, link. Okay, the third link, B go to E. Okay, so in this example means the numbers of edges, actually A to B is only one. From C to E also one. D to E also one. Yeah, but from B go to C, B go to D, B go to E, there are three. Three edges from B to C, B to D, B to E. So all this is using is using this method. Yeah. So the first step is we add the edges. Uh, sorry, add the vertex. Then the next step only we add the edges. Yeah. So back to the mean dot Java. Okay. So in this graph, uh, maybe I can draw draw the graph. Okay, so from here, so I can draw la. Okay, at first let's say we have a, okay, a bit bigger b. So a to b there is an arrow la. This is one. Then b to c, b to d, b to e. So this is a weighted graph. So we have three here, two here, one here. Okay. After that, C to E or D to E, there's a one more link here. D to E is a uh, two. Two. Uh. Then there's another link. C to E. C to E is four. Uh, so the graph something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let us run the program. Hmm. Something like this. Huh? Okay. Does Java have a graph with virtualization in library? Yes. You can actually pump in this data to draw the graph. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Just pump in the uh, vertices and the edges. Okay. Another question. Why is add edge methods return value boolean but add vertex is void? That what this is why, is it? Uh, where? That is just is boolean. Uh, you can modify that if you want. That what this is why, is it? Uh, which one? This one. Uh, this one is why uh, <coughs> because this one actually when you add shouldn't be a problem uh, when you add the vertex unless uh, you don't allow duplicate vertices uh. okay well, uh, you can change that uh, but in this in this method in the sample method i didn't put boolean is because i i, I didn't check anything here uh. But the vertex you need to check. Sorry, edges you need to check. You need to check first. If the vertex is not available, you cannot add the edge. Is it possible to make tree with graph? Uh, 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 can also, but it's not no, it's undirected, no, no directions, no, no directions. Okay. 
but uh, we have different purpose uh, for tree and glove. Okay, can also, but we have different purpose. Uh, the concept of glove is next to English, uh, not really. Okay, not really nested okay, because uh, you may not have the because the glove uh, you can have multiple edges the different the different is actually this one this one okay. one vertex you can have multiple edges we don't know okay. uh, later we will talk about the application okay, how we use the glove yeah, uh, so we go back to the code first. Okay, so this is the example code. Okay, let me show you. Uh, so in the example code, uh, I create uh, five vertices and then uh, six edges. Uh. So A, A, connect to B. Uh. Then this is the value. Uh. Then B, B, B basically connect the, to three node, B to C. B to D and B to E, and C connect to E, and D connect to E, and E, ah, nothing, see, E connect to nothing, means just like the destination, E is the destination also, ah, no more connections. Okay, nah? ah, this is the, the graph. <coughs> So beside this uh, implementation, so uh, okay, let me continue. So uh, we also can remove edges. Okay, remove edges. Yeah. So just now we create B to C, B to D, B to E. Uh, let's say I want to take out, remove the link. Uh, so B to D. So when you remove up, uh, okay, let's go to the graph. So the delete part. Uh, again, uh, we need to check uh, is there a uh, edge from the source vertex to the destination vertex? It means from A to B. Uh, so in this in this example is uh, from B to D. Uh, okay? Is there uh, edges from B to D? Uh, so if yes, then you continue. Uh, okay? You check, you compare. Okay? Once you compare, you must compare the edge. So if you manage to find the edge, uh, then you set the uh, next node. Uh, this one, you set the next node. Uh, so this part is to find the edges. Okay? If not, you continue to the next one okay? until you manage to find. Yeah. Uh, so this is to delete part. Then we have another one is to show the adjacent list. Of one vertex, okay. uh, this is called adjacent. So I'm using array list. Uh, this is the one connected, just like just now, uh, B to C, B to D, and B to E. Okay, the neighbors of vertex B. Okay. Let us run it. Okay, so at first it's like this, uh. So after I remove the connection from B to D. So you can see under the B, uh, I can connect to BC only and BE only. Uh, so the D is removed. Okay. Then I want to show all the adjacent list of vertex B. So this vertex B, because you only you remove the D already, so now only consists of C and E. D and E. Uh, so the implementation if, uh, of the adjacent is here. Uh, yeah. Okay. To get all the H node. What is the value of H link? Okay. If we return H link. Huh? You understand? What is the value of H link if we return H link? Which one? H link will return the H node. Okay, this one, uh, uh, get H link will return the H node. The H node. The H node is the H, uh, okay. That's why here uh, you have the 
क्या ऐश नहीं है रिटर्न द ऐश आ सो वन इज टू रिटर्न दिस ग्राफ नो इज रिटर्न द वर्टेक्स दिस ऐश इज टू रिटर्न द ऐश Okay. Uh, a bit different uh, compared to your link list. Now you have two. One is the vertices, one is the edges. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, go back to the code. Love, uh, yeah, uh. So this is get adjacent. Uh. Uh, hash table. Hey, why suddenly got a question about hash table? Uh? We this we we explain about the graph now. Hey, this is graph. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Someone asked, what is the use of uh mark vertex and x mark? <coughs> okay. Uh. Later in your in the. Sample ah uh, okay later ah uh, I uh, we haven't go to the thing yet so the mark vertex uh, is to to mark the vertex you visited eh? example let's say ah uh, uh, okay wait. let me explain ah uh. okay example ah uh, I want to find the path okay I want to find the path from A to G eh? from A to G lah uh, eh so When I find the path, basically I I will go to the first node, lor. So the in the diagram, the first node is A, lor. Yeah. Ah, so when I go to A, means I visit A. Ah, so the mark vertex is actually okay. I I've been visit A already. Okay. Next slide. So A can go to B and C. So I go to B first, lor. Then I mark B visited. And then I go to D. So D also visited. So everything visited until D. Ah, uh, there is no more G. So this part is invalid, lor. Okay. So when this part is invalid, so I need to backtrack. Ah, uh, I need to backtrack to B. Yeah. So when I backtrack to B, I know that okay, B is already visited, but B ah uh, still got two adjacent path I not yet visit. Which is C and E. Ah, so I go to E. Lor. Okay, when I go to E, I mark it visited. After visited, eh, no more G here. So again, the path is wrong. Lor. So I need to backtrack to B. Lor. So when I backtrack to B, okay, I know that B still got one more adjacent node, which is C. Ah, so I go to C. Ah, then C, I mark visited. So from C, I go to F. F, I mark visited. Then for F, I go to G. A, hey, G is the destination. So I know the path is A, B, C, F, G. But this is only one path. Ah, huh? yeah. There is another path is actually A, because just now I A I can go to B, ma. So A also can go to C. So this is another path. So A, C, F, G. So the the programs will return two path. One is A B C F G, and one is A C F G. Ah, uh, then which path to select? Ah, uh, which path to select is based on what what algorithm you use. Uh? If let's say you want to use shortest path, so they will calculate the cost. Ah, uh, so there's the there's that's why there's a mark vertex and is mark method. Okay. Ah, uh, in in the program. Uh, where is the thing? Yeah. Here, is it just ah? Eh? Yeah, it's mark means ah uh, whether you already visited the vertices or not. Eh? Ah, mark what this is you visit. I set to true. Lor. This is to true. Okay lah. Okay, ah, these are some of the implementation. Okay, let me go back to the concept first. <coughs> Okay, so we have the code lah. We have the code for the graph, the sample code. Uh, sorry ah, the typo error ah. The add what which one? Also, 
what this ah? Oh, oh, eh, eh, why the egg eh, just here? Oh, this one, see, see, wrong, man, wrong also. The typo error ah. Okay, make sure you, you, go back ah. Also didn't like one nice. Okay. Uh, where? Eh, edges ah. <laughs> eh, edg ah. <coughs> ah, just modify the sample code ah. Uh, okay. Delete. And then is edges, get weight. Get adjacent. Uh, after that, we can create the graph. Okay. Uh, so when you create something like this, uh, uh, the sample. Okay. Remove vertex. Uh, you can add. Uh. Yeah, you can add to the implementation here. I have a lot. Uh, don't go out, eh? Delete. Uh. Uh. Hey, edges. Uh. No. Vertex ah, uh. vertex ah, uh, I have a lot, don't have ah. Uh. Uh, you put in uh. yeah, It's the same. But before you remove the vertexes, uh, you need to remove the edges first ah. Uh. You need to check the vertex is connected to which path. Uh, after you finish, remove all the edges, uh, edges, then only you remove the vertex. Hmm. The vertex is a bit different ah, uh. you don't want to remove. Don't put in uh. okay, you put in uh. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, come back to this one. Okay, next. So once we know the concept of graph, okay, we must know how we can apply the graph. Uh, so how we can apply the graph. So graph basically used in uh, various applications. Uh, the most important one is actually the first one uh, is to model the connectivity in network. Uh, just like what I mentioned just now. Uh, when we learn the network, okay? so we have different uh, network locate in different locations. Okay? Usually we want to find the shortest uh, path, let's say from source to destinations. Uh, so how to find the shortest path? Uh, so we can use graph, lo, okay? means we can use graph to represent. Uh, assignment also can, yeah, assignment. Okay? And then uh, we can represent a map as a set of location with distance. Uh, just like in the model, the network, uh, you also can model the location. Let's say uh, from PJ to UM. Uh, so what is the distance? And then which path you need to take? Eh? Or from UM, uh, you want to go out to PJ or KL. Eh? Uh, which path you can go? Okay. Uh, the, the first one and second one is quite similar. Okay. It models the network and model the location. Okay. The third one is different. The third one is actually to model the transition. Okay. Means you model the computer's algorithm to show the transition from one state to another. Uh, this one, I think next semester you will study in your, I'm not sure whether it's uh, project modeling or project uh, management. Okay. Means that uh, basically you can show the, the event okay, from one state to another. Okay, maybe the uh, the first state is initial. Okay, initial state. Okay, after you uh, set up, yeah, or assign all the variables, then you go to the ready state. Okay, so from ready state, then you launch the you run the apps. Okay, so from ready, maybe like the next stage is you go to uh, executions. Finally, from execution, you go to uh, output. Uh, the, the translation uh, from state one to one is something like when you next time when you learn uh, the state diagrams. Uh, okay. <coughs> yeah. uh, these are some of the apps you can apply using graph. Okay, uh, so the first one. Uh, we use for the network is what we call uh, that first searching. Yeah, that first searching. So in that first searching, basically we want to identify whether there is a graph from vertex x to y. Uh, just like just now, I I show you. Eh? Uh, let's say there is a path. Eh? Uh, is there a path from A to G? Uh, so that's why we need to use, uh, we need to know the adjacent 
and also we need to use uh, back tracking. Huh? So that's why when you want to set a path, okay, you go to the first vertex first. From the first vertex, we must know the adjacent list. Uh, so we know that oh, A connect to B, A connect to C. So it means there are two paths. Okay? But when you visit uh, vertexes, uh, you need to mark it first. Oh, this one I visited. So when you mark it, you know that oh, you already visit this node. <coughs> So if you don't mark the vertex, okay, you know that you haven't received the node. So that later you can do, you, you need to visit the node. Yeah, because there are many paths. Yeah? There are many paths uh, when you want to go from one location to another location. Yeah, nah? uh, so this is the first one. <coughs> yeah, okay, you can see, uh, uh, a is no direction, uh, uh, B is with the direction one. Uh. A, C, B. Okay, so you can see, uh, so from each path, uh, where to go, you see, uh, let's say uh, the, the destination is go to E. Uh, so, uh, because this one, no direction, basically if no direction one, uh, a can straight away go to E. Okay? So if direction one, let's say uh, there is no path from A to E. So it means only E to A only. So that's why A cannot go direct to E. Okay? So they must follow the graph. Okay? It depends on whether the graph is uh, with directions or no directions. Okay? So sometimes you need to boot a uh, backtrack. Okay, backtrack. Uh, so this is the algo. Yeah, uh, so this one basically you can apply it into your lab later. Okay. Uh, another one. <coughs> another one is uh, breakfast searching. Okay, this one is they will search at the same depth. Yeah, before they go to the next one. Okay, what is means by the same depth? Okay, means, okay, let's say uh, A to B, A to C. Okay, so A is level one. Okay, B and C is level two. Uh, D, E, F is level three. And G is level four. Uh, so this is the depth. Yeah? A, B, C, E, F. Uh, so the searching is not like just now. <coughs> just now is, I will backtrack. I need to backtrack. Okay, this one is different. This one will search the same depth first to find the minimum distance. Right? Uh, so what, what is the advantage using this one? Okay, this one is useful when you search for uh, five connections. Why? Okay, because, okay, let's say uh, you want to get from Malaysia to China. Okay, some some customer, they want to have direct flight, means one route only. Okay, some customer, they don't want, okay, they want a few route. Uh, so, if you use this method, it's better if you want to get uh, one direct flight. Okay, because they set, they search from the same level. Uh, so means if you want to find the flight connections, uh, it's best to use this method. Okay? Uh, because this method will return you those uh, one stop of direct flight first, before one stop, after that two or three stop. <coughs> okay, uh, can I? Uh? Uh, yeah. uh, this one also in the algorithm. Yeah, uh, you can get. Okay, and the last one, uh, the last one is uh, usually we use in the network. Okay? We use in the network is to find the shortest path. Uh, this one is to compare the value, okay? uh, the cost value. So, uh, so for the network student, so next time you will study uh, this uh, algorithm, uh, open shortest path first. Okay, OSPF, okay, a routing algorithm. So the one is to find the shortest path 
from source to the destination. Uh, so these are the three uh, methods uh, yeah, you can use okay, uh, to implement the applications okay, using graph. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, but this one later you will learn in your algorithm analysis and design yeah, in your second year, second sem. Okay, so uh, this semester, uh, graph is not included in your final. Okay, no graph in your final, uh, but you still need to know how to create it. Uh. So that's why the tutorial question is quite simple. Okay, you can see the tutorial questions. Okay. Uh, it's just to implement the the graph uh, using array, okay? And then the lab question also simple. The lab question will continue with lab nine. Uh, lab nine is about searching. Okay, and then uh, lab ten is about the graph. Okay? Uh, this one also. Uh, to find the path. Okay. Uh, maybe you need to use the uh, depth first searching. Okay. Implement here. And then the second one is just to find the shorter path based on the value. Okay. So, any questions regarding graph? <laughs> Interesting data structures, okay? Another type of data structure. Do we need to do the sample test? Yes, yes, please. Okay, please try to do the sample test. Because this sample test will be the same format like your final. <laughs> This is the uh, this is the revision uh, for graph uh, later you also can download. Uh, this one, this one. Okay. Uh, so the sample test is similar to the data structure problem solving. The two questions. Ah, uh, just submit uh. After do ready, submit. See, you can submit or not? Yeah. So when you do the sample test, you familiar with it so that in your final exam, uh, you won't panic. Yeah? Not like last Friday. Last Friday, some students did not do the, the sample test. So when they click the router, they cannot click. When they click the switch, also cannot click. Then they start to panic. Hey, how to configure? So when you ask this question, I know already you didn't do the sample test. Ah, so. The reason why I prepared the sample test here is so that you're familiar with it. Okay? Just, just like what I did in the mid-sem, mid-test. Okay? The mid-test, I do MCQ. So you're already familiar with it. Uh, so when you go to the final exam, there will be another MCQ. Uh, so you won't panic. So it's better to do the sample test. Uh, any answer you put, uh, I, I won't mark one. I just want to check whether you submit the correct forms. Okay, when is your YWA? Okay, the YWA is depends on your group, your group lecturer. Okay, uh, you see, uh, some group, uh, some group, they, you see, there's a, this is one. No, some group, uh, some group, they change. Okay. Some good they change to okay. Uh some question about hash table. Uh, uh okay, the deadline is uh sorry, before hash table, assignment first, uh, assignment first, wait, wait. Okay. Basically the assignment submission, uh, the normal submission is on nineteen. Okay, but some group uh, is different. Okay, some group is different. But for my group, it will be the same. Okay, uh, we will discuss during the group. 
sections. Okay, so are we able to modify the code after the deadline? You need to discuss with your lecturer. Assignment submission under spectrum, you need to discuss with your lecturer. Uh, so your lecturer will define whether you submit your assignment using spectrum or email. Uh, so my group, uh, group one, I will discuss this coming uh, Wednesday, tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, group one, I will let you know how to submit the assignment, uh, how to do your YWA, when is your YWA, and so on. Okay. Others group, uh, please ask your group lecturer, uh, because the assignment is handled by your group lecturer. Okay, back to the hash table question. There's one hash table. Yeah, let me... Okay, so Hash table change. Do we need to sort according to key? Uh, uh, which hash table? Yeah, let me check. No need to sort. Ah. No need to sort. Okay. There is no requirement to ask you to sort. Hmm. No need to sort. Okay. Uh, okay. Any question? Any more questions about your assignment? Yeah, please uh, do the sample test uh, because the sample test format is similar to this. And then uh, I think I give you all the topics already, right? Last week for the final. So I will repeat again. Uh. Yeah, last week I did give you all the topic you need to revise. So we do one flow chart for the report. Uh, okay, wait. Assignment. Technical report, uh, 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 yeah, including flow chart. Mm. Follow uh, the report, you follow this. Lab 9, question 5, uh, where are we? Uh? The elements in the same location. Second output. Musang King. D24. Uh, not necessarily lah. If you don't want to sort, also can one. If you don't want to sort, no problem. Because the the method that returns all elements in the same locations, if the element can be found, uh, there is no requirement that you must sort. Unless you say uh, the, the elements in the same location must be sorted, then you need. Okay. Uh, 
no problem. No need to sort also. Man. Okay, the last, any questions? Uh, for my group, uh, for my group. For group, which group really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, for my group, ah, group one, ah, another two group haven't submitted ah, the last submission, group nine and ten. Eh? For my group one, ah, group one, if you are group nine and ten, please ah, remember ah, your due date is tomorrow ah, for the lab. Okay, others, any questions? So uh, if no questions, we will stop here. So make sure you do your revision. Yeah, I give you a lot of time. Huh? You don't complain. Huh? I, I receive student complain. Why do the test in the first week? Okay. Why do the test so early? In no time to do revision. Okay. Now I give you plenty of time already. To do your revision. Yeah, no more complain. Huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, make sure. Uh, for your final, huh? make sure you have the compiler. Huh? Okay, make sure you have NetBean. Uh. You can use NetBean or whatever software uh, just to run the Java. Uh. Okay, make sure you have the NetBean. Okay, so uh, if no questions, so I will meet you on 30th of June. Uh, so again, same thing. Uh. Before 9.30, I will create the link okay, for you to join. So once you join the link, I will give you the instructions. Uh, so the first one hour is we will settle the MCQ. Okay, means we use one hour to settle the MCQ. So after that, again, I will give you the instruction on that day. I will send you the link for the questions. Okay, for the problem solving question. Uh, so this question is similar to your sample test. Okay, sample test, uh, please follow the instructions. Okay, and then this is very important. Please remember your own metric number. Eight digit. Okay? I want eight digit only. Example. Ah. Yeah, just remember the eight digit number. You don't give me a uh, slash zero one la, uh, uh, some student uh, slash zero zero seven uh, I also don't know how they can get slash zero zero seven jeans board man. Uh, just give me the eight digit number. Okay, don't so smart slash zero one la, slash zero two la. No need. Okay, your metric number, the one for programming and networking, eight digit is enough. Okay, because this eight digit number is already unique. Uh, don't give me a slash one la, slash two la, slash someone give me slash zero zero seven la. Someone give me like this. Sometime. Uh, seven. Eight digit number becomes seven digit. How to give you marks, okay? If you give me the wrong metric number. Please, uh, this is the most important one. Please remember your own metric number. Eight digit. Yeah, can I? Okay, uh, if no questions, uh, you continue your revisions. So you con for those who haven't finished assignment, you continue your assignment. Uh, for final exam, must we use NetBean? No need. You can use any application, not necessarily NetBean. Okay, because you are using your computer. So I let you use any software. But if you use the computer in the faculties, no choice, uh, you have to use NetBean. Uh, now you use your own computer, so you can use any software. Ah, uh, make sure again, okay, again. Please, ah, uh, do not copy. Okay, we can detect whether you are cheating. Ah, uh, don't play, play, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, don't copy, ah. Uh. I have a program to detect whether you cheat. Uh. Uh, I already detect someone cheat in the networking. 
So for the final example uh, data structure, uh, this part, uh, especially this one, data structure problem solving. Do not copy. Uh. Why? Because I can I have a software to detect whether you are cheating. Yeah. So if you copy to your friend, so you get zero, your friend also gets zero. Uh, don't play play. Yeah. This is your 25%. Maybe you are too smart. Yeah. You are the A plus student. <laughs> okay, you are too smart. Huh? Let's say uh, you are too smart. You get 25. So your friend asks you, okay, please email me your answer. So you email answer. Uh, later, uh, both of you get zero. I don't know. Uh, the next question, uh, someone asked. This one, uh, this one I cannot answer. Uh, you, you must be smart enough. Uh. Any questions about your final? Yeah. So uh, if, let's say uh, your friend uh, asks you to help them, uh, ask you to copy program, uh, just, just told them do do themselves. Yeah. Wow. This is very important. If the is the problem solving part of the final still open book, uh, you must be smart enough. Huh? Okay. You do it at home, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything you do at home. So you can use whatever material if available. Uh, uh, the only thing is you cannot do is. Uh, this part, please do not copy. Okay? We can detect whether you are cheating. Cheating means you copy the file to your friend. Then your friend submit. Uh, both gone. <coughs> okay? Other resources, you can do it any, anything. Uh. Other resources, you can do anything. <coughs> I don't care. Uh, those two problem solving questions designed by senior, no, la, the question is designed. Uh, I'm the one set the question. La. Your senior don't know anything. La. They cannot do the cannot do the final one. Yeah? These two questions la, is prepared by me. La. No worry, la. it's not by Dr. Liu. Uh, if Dr. Liu, uh, sorry, uh, it's very hard to get 25. Uh. If the code same with lecture notes count as cheating, no. Yeah? But if you copy your solution to your friend, yes. What chapter include in the final exam? Wow, this one. Uh, when you ask this question, I'll uh, die already, see? Hey, others. Okay. When you ask this question, uh, I know last week you did attend. Uh, better ask your friend. Hey, others, I thought last week I give you all the topic already, right? Huh? Last week I give you all the topic, right? Uh. Is the problem question really hard? No, it's not hard. This one, very simple to get 25. This one, not so simple to get 25. Hey, the next question, I'll better remove it. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I want you to do is, please remember your metric number, please do not copy. Please do not copy. Uh, this question is simple compared to this. So how to, what is the example of this type of question? Do the lab. Okay. The question is something like your lab questions. 
Uh, make sure you complete all the lab. Yeah, the lab questions. Yeah, so if, if no more questions, uh, we will end here. So uh, good luck. Uh, how to prepare for MCQ? Uh, uh, try your best. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, these two questions simple, huh? no worry, huh? these two questions. Is you do the sample test first. That's why I want you to do the sample test. Yeah, make sure you do the sample test. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Let me open the sample test. Okay, do this one first, do this one first. Okay, do this one first. Ah, so that you familiar with the format. The final exam format is something like this. Eh? Yeah, nah. But it's not so simple like this. Ah. Ah. Okay, ah, this is a good question. This is a good question. That's why I say MCQ is difficult. Yeah. One question coming in away. Question, ah. In the MCQ multi box question, okay. If correct answer are three box, but I only take two. So zero. That's why I say it's difficult. Okay, especially the multiple box questions. Okay, but no worry, you have one hour for 25 questions. You know? So the MCQ, this MCQ will determine whether you score A or A plus. Okay, uh, this, this question. This question is to help you pass the exam. Okay, if you don't know how to solve these two questions, uh, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Furthermore, there is no question in, there is no total new question here. Uh, so it's, you better get 25 out of 25. How many multiple answer question in final? I don't know. A few, uh, a few. Will MCQ ask about complexity? Uh, no. The one is in your algorithm analysis and design. I won't ask about the complexity in data structure. Okay? Complexity is uh, algorithm analysis and design. Yeah, la? Yeah, good luck. Don't panic. Please, one thing, don't panic. Okay? If you panic, you forgot everything. Just treat the exam like a normal quiz. Okay? Your Wi-Fi panic, uh, this one I cannot help you. Uh, your Wi-Fi panic. Okay? Yeah, maybe you need to, uh, like the YouTube, you need to build an antenna on top of your roof uh, to get the better signal. <laughs> Yeah, so no worry, uh, the, the question is quite straightforward. Yeah? So there are only a few MCQ questions that are difficult. Uh, you can use whatever resources you have. The only thing I want you to do is please do not copy. That's all. Yeah? If you copy to others, we can detect. Okay, the submission link will be closed on Trump. Yes. Uh, this one, this one, another, another problem. Need to mention. So the submission link on Spectrum will close exactly at Trump. Yes. Okay. If you submit late, you still can submit. But I, but there is a timestamp.
Ah, means ah, whenever you submit the document to Spectrum, I can see the timestamp. So let's say ah, you submit 12, 15. Yeah, so 15 minutes ah, minus 10 mark ah. Okay, so uh, you submit 12.05. Okay, so let me give you another five minutes. Uh. No problem. 0.05, still can. Uh. If you submit 0.15, uh, minus 10%. Uh. Okay, so 25%, you only score 15%. Yeah, please uh, submit on time. Uh. Please do the sample test only. Do the sample test first. Okay. Because I check, uh, you see, uh, I check the sample test. Uh. See? Out of 270 students, uh, only 21 students go to do it. Uh, oh, this is different question. When we get the network result, uh, see? Another question coming in. When do we get the network result? Hey, I thought yesterday during lecture, I already told you. Thursday. We still have five minutes to submit. Yes, I give you until 0.05, but I, I don't put here. It's better put 12 p.m. Yeah? Because if I put 12.05 here, some of you will submit 0.08. Uh, then finish, uh, you lost minus 3%. That's why I don't put here. Wait, better put like this. That means if you submit 12.15, minus 10%. Hey, please, uh, I think yesterday lecture I already told you. I will give you the result. Okay, any more questions? Do you click the sample test? No click, no click. This one no click, huh? But please uh, submit la, submit. Okay. Otherwise, when come to final, you ask me, hey sir, how to submit the final the programming Java file? Huh? Yo, wait. Huh? I, I think uh, later you ask how to submit the Java file. Huh? This one, uh, when I saw this question, uh, straight away minus five mark. Yeah, ask you to do sample test you don't want to do. Uh, so if finally you ask this question, uh, hmm, straight away minus five mark. When, because when you ask the question means you didn't do the sample test. Uh, that's why you see the result. Only 21 students do the sample test. Why, why you all don't want to do the sample test? Because no marks. Uh, if uh, later uh, I add sample test, five marks, uh, whoa, uh, these numbers uh, later you see, uh, I put five marks here, uh, here become two six, maybe two six five already. Can we know the answer for Miss Sam test? Uh, sorry, you cannot. Can submit in CIFAC? Uh, cannot, uh, cannot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This question is important, this one. Can submit in CIFAC? No. Java file only. Okay, uh, please, uh, please don't do any zip, uh, PDF, uh, and so on. Only submit Java file. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me check. Wait, I want see it. I want to see all those submitted. Ah, uh. this one. You want see it? And then later I check uh, Spectrum. Okay. Please uh, submit Java file only. Uh. Java file only, uh, because later I will use my program. After I download all your file, I will use my program to copy out all your answer. Uh, 
Uh, so if your format in zip file, I don't know how to copy. Okay, uh, make sure the submission is Java file. <coughs> okay, so I think that's all. So uh, good luck. Okay. So for the lab tutorial session, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So you can start your revision. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for joining and uh, huh? the final exam that I get is still locked? Sure or no? Okay, uh, the last you can log out already. Huh? Let me check something first. Hey, the module is ITN, huh? not SRWE. Huh? Okay, how many minutes for group presentation? Huh? Uh, depends on your group, depends on your group. You need to ask your group lecturer for the assignment presentation. Ah, yes. Before you do the network final, uh, please go complete the cost feedback. Uh. Okay, now back to data structure. Any any questions? No questions, we'll stop here. Uh. Okay, so uh, thank you for joining. Okay, bye.